drone here i'm going to be using that controller on this but it's more about this i want to see if this battery will give a bugs three or a force one uh ghost better flight time because this came out of the brushless gps sky viper and those get excellent flight times let's right, go we are outside it is just above freezing um moderate wind we are going to turn these lights off but if you can see that camera underneath there we would that is running uh i could disconnect it but we're just going to leave it running so this turn the lights off this toggle that's my fire let's go ahead and get this in the air hopefully my uh my hat cam which is an original iphone se um holds out it's not that cold let's get this out here i'm gonna kind of just cruise this um, so the, the battery that I actually showed you in the beginning would not work. Uh, it was it was missing a notch in the XT30, which is weird. Um, this is also a Sky Viper battery from that same type of drone. It was one of the Generation 2 batteries that was a normal XT30 connection. Put the brakes on, put the brakes on. And as you can see, you can fly this extremely, extremely controlled. There is a little bit of wind uh, to my back, so it's blowing that way. Just really cruising around with this, seeing what type of flight time we could get. And again, hopefully the original iPhone SE holds out for us and hopefully it is capturing the video that uh, I would like it to here. Have it hooked up to my hat cam. A lot easier to do things that way uh, as far as like uploading and editing versus just doing uh, like an action camera on top of your head. Then you gotta go to a computer, you gotta go edit it. The ghost, the original ghost, all white. They did re-release this uh, second gem with a black bottom and just a white canopy. It, it didn't look the same. It did not look the same. And on this controller, uh, this uh, Maker Fire T Lite controller, the 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 halls are extremely smooth. You would think a smaller controller, ah, it's gonna have limited range, limited throw. That's not the case. We'll go ahead and just cruise down. We'll try to fly a little bit faster here for you guys. That way it's not just a boring time trial, but that's what this is. It is a time trial. See what type of uh what type of juice we got on this battery. And I did charge the Sky Viper's uh battery off of the original charger because there is no balance plug, it is a two-cell battery. Um but all they give you is the XT30 connection. And I've checked voltage because I used to charge my MGX batteries off of those because I got longer flight times off the charger, off that stock charger. We're in the sun. Hopefully that sun's not been in it the whole time. I'll go over here. Um, it's terrible. Terrible. It's terrible. We should be hid by the sun here. Um, but anyway, so I've checked the voltage after that charge is a two cell battery. It is slightly higher. Uh, so take that into consideration with this test too. That drone though, we just did uh, we just did a video on that drone and that drone's king. If you could find those for $100, somebody said they found one for under $100 shortly after I made the video. A little look at the y'all rate, y'all, 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 y'all. Go ahead and pitch this. Considerable wind uh, blowing in its face, so it's actually flying directly into it, which I guess that's gonna fluctuate. Yesterday we had a crazy, crazy windstorm. Well, let's, let's, uh, yeah, we'll stay here. That sun's terrible. Hopefully that wasn't in the beginning of the video. And if it was, I do apologize. Look, you think it was GPS. You think, well, minus wind hit it. Um, again, easy on the sticks. If, if you're flying these drones and you're like, oh, I can't fly it. It's bouncing up and down. It's just all over the place. Well, that's you. You're all over the place. Your fingers, your thumbs, whatever, your pinchers, whatever you're doing to fly it, you're all over the place. Use precise movement. Use slower more precise movement and you'll be able to fly this thing where you can then turn around and kind of stop in your face without chopping your nose off um you guys have seen me throughout the years fly really close to my face and it's not because i want a drone blade to the face but because i'm pretty confident on my skill level just as well as my hands on the sticks because what i'm telling you is Take it easy, nice and easy on the sticks. Like a happy Gilmore, just tap it in. Tap, 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 ooh, wind almost grabbed that. Wind almost took that right in that tree. Um, that would have killed the time trial. Um, 
But uh, yeah, just like Happy Gilmore, tap it in. Same thing with your sticks. Just, just finesse your sticks. Finesse your sticks. You don't need to go full throttle the entire time. I mean, FPV by all means, but line of sight, you're probably not going to go full throttle the entire time unless you have the feel to do it. And I keep flying down there into the wind, which this thing generates a decent amount of momentum itself because it has some power um, and flying into the wind and then turning around. And I have like a it's drifting backwards still before it starts going forward, I'm not extremely punching it. And again, the only the only other contributing factor here is that this uh, it does have that panoramic camera underneath, which is running. It's not recording. Uh, so it's just emitting a Wi-Fi signal uh, if you were to connect to it but with your phone. Other than that, the lights are off on this. This is a chill cruise. This ain't like extreme, extreme. This ain't even like a normal fly for me. I'm telling you, this battery is going to hold out. I hope my phone holds out. I really do. And I hope the angle of the phone's good too. I'll try to keep it a little away from me just in case it isn't. There's no real way to check that. It's kind of just guesswork. I gotta watch, I got wires above me too. Skeet. Little left to right shimmy shake, left to right shimmy shake. Ay, ay, ay. Say front, back, side to side. That's how you do the electric slide, terrible. Be quiet, J-Drone. Just fly the drone. Just entertain the people with the drone. Woo! Almost smoke it off that pole. Almost smoke it off that pole. Tight funnel. Tight funnel. Controlled flying this. That's kind of what I'm uh, showcasing here. Trying to get a gauge on this battery. Trying to get a gauge on that battery. It's probably going to fly forever. The phone's probably going to shut off. So actually what I want to do, I want to stop it. Skirt. I want to bring it over here. I want to stop it. Make sure I get some footage for y'all, and then I'm gonna restart it. And hopefully, I just get it all, and I'm, then I'll piece it together. So we're gonna stop it. We're gonna shut the motors off. We're gonna come down here. Are we still recording? It does look like we are still recording. So I'm going to hit the, and then we'll just start it, and hopefully, we get this whole flight time. Um, so you, you could dock like a minute from when I took off, uh, even though I don't think it's been a minute. And I never shut the drone off. The drone stayed connected to the controller the entire time. Um, actually, let me just go down here in front of my Astro. Just had that out. Just had the Astro van to the store. Yeah, because I, I could tighten some funnels up here for you and almost smoke some trees. <laughs> really close to hitting that tree there. Let's go ahead and... Uh, like to get that over here to do that skirt a little sportier flying here than I was over there because I have a little bit more room and again, nothing crazy. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't want to get crazy because I got neighbors around me. They got cars, they got vehicles. I'm not trying to hit anybody's, uh, anybody's vehicle or house with this drone. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, smash the subscribe button. If you ever have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely put it down below. I definitely get at you. I get at you. Uh, for any reason I don't get at you, comment again. Sometimes, uh, like you guys, miss my videos because they don't send you notifications. Oftentimes, that happens with me and uh, some of your comments. Let's go ahead and do a punch up. I think um, a slow punch up. Or er, yeah, what? I gotta remember. There's wind up there. Oh yeah, wind grabbed that quick. Here we come down quick. <laughs> Not trying to lose the stair. I just got a battery warning now. Um, so maybe the motors are a higher draw on this than the Sky Viper because I don't think that was it. I don't think that was 20 minutes. I could be wrong. Uh, clearly we have the footage. Uh, the phone should still be on. I'm going to continue flying it until I feel uh, battery sag. So I feel battery sag and it actually sits itself down because that'll give it accurate reading because sometimes older batteries will give a uh, early LVC warning, especially a battery that wasn't designed 
for the specific drone because who knows maybe the stock battery is the best battery for this or one of the batteries that I tested because they have a higher C rating uh, maybe this battery was specifically designed for the drone that I took it out of and that drone will be the only drone that will benefit from the battery being inside of it I don't know um, but we're gonna give it a good go here that's a reverse reverse funnel don't 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 crash now we, we've almost made it without crashing again when it, when this kicks uh, regardless if you have the lights on or not you will have blue lights in the back uh, white in the front that indicator of your LVC low voltage you can uh, very simply hook up uh, beepers a standalone beeper you plug it in or actually yeah you could do it to the stock uh, battery on this but you can't do it to this one because it doesn't have a balance lead you plug it in uh, plug it into one of the uh, LED light things actually and turn it off but then when it starts to actuate like this if you don't see the lights and you're far away from yourself you get a beeping I showed how to add a beeper to a MJX Bugs 3 and it, you can also toggle the beeper then uh, in case you lose the drone or lost connectivity and it's sitting in a field somewhere and you just can't find it because it's tall grass boom hit a toggle and you got a loud beeper this thing's still flying so I'm venturing to say it was a fake LVC I punched up with it um, and that's when we got it so that was the highest draw uh, on the battery and maybe that's what did it maybe it just sank a little bit low battery sag was, it was a little bit lower than uh, what it should have been or what the drone wanted it to be and that's why we got this blinker because we're still flying I me personally flying this I don't feel it dropping to the ground I don't feel any type of battery sag and it, it is fighting wind the winds picking up and it's blowing that way you can see uh, maybe a leaf blowing on the ground but again, I, I want to fly this until it drops. Um, so I'm going to kind of keep it close to myself. I'm not going to take it too high up and out too because again, we're dealing with wind. And at some point, the battery voltage is going to sag. And if you're up that high and you don't got enough to come home, to dive home and power home, there's a good possibility all that water that's directly behind the drone, uh, it, it would take a swim. Uh, and we don't want to do that because again, this is one of the original ghosts and I absolutely love this drone. And I have that panoramic camera on the bottom of it, which not many people have, not many people even knew existed. Um, but it's plug and play, cool camera. If you didn't see the video on that, I recently did a video on that. We are still flying here, guys. We're still blinking, we're still flying. It's cold out here, it's winter in Pennsylvania. I'm making these videos to entertain you. Also because my, my brain was ticking and because one of you guys, what'd y'all say? Make another video on the Bugs 3. I love the video on the Bugs 3s. Uh, and I actually said, yo, I got something planned. All right, so I'm gonna punch up and yo-yo. I'm still yo-yoing good. So I still got perfect power, I'm telling you. That, that, that's, a, that's a premature LVC because if I can yo-yo punch and drop and punch and drop and punch, it's catching itself. It's not lagging, it's not dropping to the ground. So we got tons of power, so maybe, maybe this is the truth. Maybe this battery is the truth. Maybe this is what I thought it was. Maybe Sky Viper did something to these batteries that made them just a little bit extra. Now it is a 2000 milliamp an hour battery. I believe the original Bugs uh, battery was a 1800 milliamp an hour. I don't know the C rating on either of the batteries. Myself, I found, I think around 2000. I think 2200 milliamp an hour, I was using an NPOW battery, uh, gave the Bugs 3 an excellent flight time. Uh, this seems to be doing the trick too seems to be doing the trick too besides that uh that false blinky blinky besides the false blinky blinky because again i still have full power you can feel it once you start flying for a while uh something like this especially if you're doing a time trial you'll feel it sag and you'll know bam okay battery's just about done and you'll be right 90% of the time and see that okay yep drones down should should have landed it when I thought so but this joint I still got power man like I got zoom power so this got to be a tough battery and it's not the one that I wanted to put in the one that I want to put in is the one that I showed in the beginning of the video um, because that one I think was from my original one and this one, like I said, I think second generation, but it didn't have the double slits on both sides, so it wouldn't fit the drone. Uh, really weird. I've never seen an XT30 connection only have one slit on the side and be flat on the other side, but maybe they made it proprietary for that. Um, and maybe they had the secret to battery making. I don't even know if they're still in business. I don't know if Sky Viper's still in business or not. If they are, they're probably just selling uh, the super tiny brush drones. Again, we are flying here, dude. 
I have power. This battery is the truth. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go search for these batteries before I post this video and try to grab one or two more of them. And right now, so right now we have that panoramic camera running, uh, just running, emitting a little bit of Wi-Fi. So that's that's drawing a little bit of juice. Uh, this is fighting against, I'm going to say a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind now that's blowing in that direction, that's taking the drone in that direction. I'm not flying it in that direction. The wind took it. Um, so coming in this direction is dealing with a little bit, a uh, little bit of an aggressive flight. And then right now, because of the, the fake LVC uh, blinky lights, we also have lights on. So we have a little bit of battery draw on the drone itself, minus flight, but not much. All that does absolutely take without question this is the best battery for that drone you guys have no clue the entire flight time because my cell phone the original iphone se shut off guys subscribe hit the like button if you can find this drone for i'm gonna say fifty dollars it's worth it for the battery because you also get a cool drone now the drone itself is worth about a hundred dollars but boom you have no clue how long this flew after that shut off guys subscribe later